Hey guys. Hey, you know, I really had no idea what I was going to paint for this week. So I got to looking around, but I was cleaning out some of the, the drawers over here where I keep the, the blanks and, and stencils and stuff. And I stumbled onto my old 2.5 stencils, the ones I made that fit a 2.5 square bill. And I thought, you know what, I haven't used these in a while. So I dug around and I found a 2.5 that I'd painted and I didn't like it. So I cleaned all the paint off and was starting all over again. And I thought, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do a 2.5. We're going to use my homemade stencils. And even as I sit here, I'm really not sure what colors we're going to do. But let's take it over the bench. We'll see what we get. All right. This one's already got painted white and basically because... You might see little tinges of red within this one. I had painted this one once before, didn't like it, cleaned it all off, and went to start over, got it all repainted white, and then somewhere along the line, I just left it sit. So I pulled it out today. What we're gonna paint, I don't even know if we got a name for it, but we're just gonna paint something, all right? We're gonna start out pearlized lime. So we're gonna go with a pearl lime. Do that on the belly here. About halfway up, went about to the lateral lines on either side. All right, that's all I want for that. Let me clean this up, get a different color in. We'll go beyond there. All right, next thing we're going to do, I got a little Createx transparent orange. We're going to shoot a little orange right up here on the front of the belly. More on the bill, so it just blends back a little. That's all we want, just a little bit on that front. That's all we need. All right, let me clean this up. We'll move on again. All right, time to move on to another of my favorite pearlized colors, and that is pearlized copper. Pearl copper in the Createx. We're gonna run that all down the back, a little on the head. Pearlized copper is a little bit thicker than some of the others, so it's a little bit more getting it out there. But we got it. All right, now I have my old stencils I made out of plastic. I did a video uh, last year showing how I made these stencils. Uh, if, I tr if I can remember, I'm going to go back and I'll, down in the, the end card or description somewhere, I'll get a link to how you can make your own stencils like this. But we're going to use one of these, but of course the first thing we need to do is dry this really well. So we'll get the heat gun, get it dried, and then we'll see about a stencil. All right, here we go with our stencil. For the stencil color, we're going to go Createx Opaque Black. We'll put that in here for the background. Let's hit this quick. Yeah, we're sitting good there. You know what, whoa. We're gonna take that air pressure way down. Yeah, let's not get too carried away, huh? All right, I was sitting at over 40 pounds of pressure. That's what I normally shoot, it's around 40 pounds. I've lowered it down to 20. We don't need 40 pounds as we're doing this. And basically, as I said, just as this, my homemade stencil, Gonna hold that, get that held there right into place. There we go. Let me roll them over. Come back to this side. Sitting on that. Okay, hang on a second. I got to turn this around. It's hitting back in here. So I really need to put that down like that.
And there we go. All right. There we got it. So that is our, well, we never had a name for it. It's got some copper, it's got some lime, it's got some orange. Not really sure. Tell you what, we'll put a set of eyes, we'll get a top coat, and maybe we can come up with a name by then. Well, there we go, guys. I don't know if that's a copper lime or what that is or some sort of a perch, but either way, got to use my homemade stencil and give that a try again. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.